Can you describe how you're feeling? Um, I feel a little shaky. Um, a little anxious because I can't really see. So I feel like I'm almost a little closed in. My eyes, they feel like I'm a little bit strenuous when I'm looking around. Um, I feel a little sand gritty, more so on my left, uh, but they don't hurt. Uh, my throat's a little sore from the anesthesia, with anesthesia the tube that they put down for the, to breathe while I was asleep. Um, and I just feel a little out of place, like I almost feel like I'm in my own kind of cocoon because I can't really see too much. Are you feeling any pain? Pain? Just a little bit of the sore throat and I want to say a dull ache um, around this area. Um, I've been taking Tylenol, just regular Tylenol for it, which is perfectly fine. It's for my eyes, they don't hurt. Um, and just that sand gritty is a little uncomfortable, but I don't want to say it hurts. Mm. How's your vision? Can you see anything right now? Um, vision? I, I see, I can see. Um, no double really. Everything seems more like if I go like this, it feel I feel like it's coming at me quite there. How's your peripherals? Peripherals I can really see. Normally I can't see past really this, but I can see both hands at the same time now, which is really different. So you you weren't seeing anything like that before? No. I wouldn't see past. I could see this, but I would only see to around here. But now I can feel myself using both eyes. Mm -hmm. So I can see both hands. Interesting. Have you ever been put under anesthesia before? Once, but I, when I was getting my wisdom teeth out, but they said that it's a different type of drug that they use for teeth as opposed to actual surgery, surgery, um, so this one's a little bit more powerful. Can you describe what you remember before you went under anesthesia? I was asking the lady what her perfume was, and I was making sure that they were going to do the right procedure and they were going to take their time on me because I waited <laughs> so long, so I was like, please make sure you do it right. And what is your perfume? Uh, and then I went out. Were you scared at all? What Very. was the scariest part of the entire process? I would say the waiting before. There was a couple emergency eye surgeries that needed to go before me that were emergency, so obviously it came in randomly. So being in the waiting room, in my room, and being downstairs in the line of all the other patients was nerve-wracking because that was almost four hours of waiting surrounded by people who are coming out of the same surgery you're going in for and just seeing them it was there was times I was like you know what I'm gonna I'm tapping out because it was a little scary but I would say that's scary and then I think waking up was kind of scary for me um, just because I think I went in anxious and so I woke up really anxious almost as if I wanted to have a little bit of a panic attack. Describe what it was like waking up. Waking up. Um, I remember waking up literally moments after they took out the tube for breathing. Um, it was a little, I was really anxious. Um, I kind of almost felt like I couldn't breathe. I had a breathing tube through my nose, or not through my nose, but just those little two double prong. Um, and I was making sure that my oxygen was high, so I kept asking the doctor, <coughs> excuse me, to make sure that my oxygen levels were at 100, and they were, but I just felt anxious. I felt like I 
couldn't open my eyes and I just felt like I was almost like like useless, like I couldn't do anything in a way. But that was just the, the drugs wearing off and I went in really anxious so when I came out I was probably coming out really anxious as well. So I think that long build up in the waiting mm -hmm. kind of scared me more than it should have. There was just too much time waiting as yeah. opposed to getting in there and doing it right away. And I was really shaky after as well. I've never had surgery before, so I can't even imagine. Do you have any regrets going through this procedure? No. I, I'm glad that it's over with. Um, I feel like if you... I went on YouTube and I looked up this procedure done on multiple people, so that's kind of... I mean, I literally was looking at YouTube videos all the way up until like basically I was going in the OR room, so I don't think that was probably the best idea. <laughs> but at least I knew what the outcome would be and what it would look like. Um, I don't, I don't have any regrets from it. Just, just the nerves and the anxiousness, like that's just like even thinking about it right now, like I'm shaking. It's like you just feel a little like almost like you're alone in your own head because you can't really to me right now I can't see but everybody's different but that's just how I feel I don't like closed spaces I don't like um, if someone were to jump on me with like a blanket or something I don't like being just like like I can't breathe like, like claustrophobic yeah I'm very 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 claustrophobic so this is like almost taking that to like the ultimate test so yeah do you know how long it's gonna be before your vision is fully restored um, the first three days is supposed to be the hardest. Um, it should get a lot better as the days go on after that, but you should experience, my doctor said, um, blurriness, double vision a bit um, for the first three days. And again, it will get better as the days go on after that. My eyes, as you can see, will be a little bit bloodshot obviously where the incision is it's because it's the bruising so the bruising will be there for at least a week um, and it'll be a little red for it could be up to several months but it's not going to be as red as what it is right now do you have anything to say to anyone who might consider this procedure i would say obviously first talk to your doctor because i'm not a doctor so can't give any of that, but I can tell you from my experience that even just, I'm in the first day, I'm 12 hours after operation, post-op, I can tell that my peripherals are a lot more, there's a much more wide variety of that I can see, and I can tell that I'm using both eyes, and that's already something that I couldn't do at all up to now. So that's already a positive. And another thing I would recommend is making sure you're talking to all your doctors and finding the best one. Because obviously it is to do with your eyes and it's adjusting those muscles. And you want someone who's really good in, and has really good experience of doing that several years, I would even say, if you're a little bit more on that anxious side, which obviously I was, uh, but I would, I would recommend it. I mean, it's, you can't go wrong, and I think it can help a lot of people, and just even now I can tell that my depth perception is a lot more as well, and that's something I had nothing of before, so that's a little crazy to me. I'm still getting used to it, but it's good, I, I definitely would recommend it. I know in some places it costs, there is a cost to it. Um, up here in Canada, it's free. It's covered under our healthcare. Um, but I know that a lot of uh, employment um, places and at your, uh, a lot of insurance, even down in the States or around the world, cover at least partial of the cost. Um, so I think it's definitely beneficial 
it's not cosmetic. It's something that can really impact your, your vision. Even if you don't do anything about it, sometimes it can make it worse, but sometimes it just will stay the same. But I definitely do recommend it. I think it's a great thing. It's not the greatest right now. It doesn't feel so nice, but it's done and the, the, the worst is over, which is good. All right, so I just wanted to include a closer up clip of what it looks like. Might be a little scary. I'm not in the, I'm not in pain. This looks painful, but it's not. It's more just a little sandy and gritty, but I just wanna show you close up exactly what it looks like. So as you can see here, I'm looking straight at the camera. So that's it on the sides. So basically they went in actually in the inside, which I thought they were gonna go in on the out, but they went on in the in side of my eye there in the corners. So that's why it's a little bit bloodshot there, but sensitive to light. But I just wanna give you guys a little heads up of what it looks like one day post-op. I will give you guys an insight day two, day three, day four, just so you guys um, can see what it looks like and if you have the same strabismus as I do, this is what you most likely, give or take, will look like one day post-op. Thanks guys for watching, okay, bye-bye.